Brought to you by wikivd.com Black Death The Black Death was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history, resulting in the deaths of an estimated people in Eurasia, and peaking in Europe in the years 1346-1353. Although there were several competing theories as to the cause of the Black Death analyses of DNA from people in Northern and Southern Europe published in 2010 and 2011 indicate that the pathogen responsible was the Yersinia pestis bacterium, resulting in several forms of plague including the bubonic plague. The Black Death is thought to have originated in the arid plains of Central Asia where it then traveled along the Silk Road, reaching Crimea by 1343. From there it was most likely carried by Oriental rat fleas living on the black rats that were regular passengers on merchant ships. Spreading throughout the Mediterranean and Europe the Black Death is estimated to have killed 30-60% of Europe's total population. In total, the plague may have reduced the world population from an estimated 450 million down to 350,375 million in the 14th century. The world population as a whole did not recover to pre-plague levels until the 17th century. The plague recurred occasionally in Europe until the 19th century. The plague created a series of religious, social and economic upheavals, which had profound effects on the course of European history. Origins of the disease The plague disease caused by Yersinia pestis is enzootic in populations of fleas carried by ground rodents including marmots in various areas including Central Asia, Kurdistan, Western Asia northern India and Uganda, Nestorian graves dating to 1338-1339 near Lake Isik Kul in Kyrgyzstan have inscriptions referring to plague and are thought by many epidemiologists to mark the outbreak of the epidemic, from which it could easily have spread to China and India. In October 2010, Medical geneticists suggested that all three of the great waves of the plague originated in China. In China the 13th century Mongol conquest caused a decline in farming and trading. However, economic recovery had been observed at the beginning of the 14th century. In the 1330s, a large number of natural disasters and plagues led to widespread famine starting in 1331 with a deadly plague arriving soon after. Epidemics that may have included plague killed an estimated 25 million Chinese and other Asians during the 15 years before it reached Constantinople in 1347. The disease may have traveled along the Silk Road with Mongol armies and traders, or it could have come via ship. By the end of 1346, reports of plague had reached the seaports of Europe, India was depopulated, Tartary, Mesopotamia, Syria, Armenia were covered with dead bodies. Plague was reportedly first introduced to Europe via Genoese traders at the port city of Kaffa in the Crimea in 1347. After a protracted siege during which the Mongol army under Yani Beg was suffering, from the disease the army catapulted the infected corpses over the city walls of Kaffa to infect the inhabitants. The Genoese traders fled taking the plague by ship into Sicily and the south of Europe once it spread north. Whether or not this hypothesis is accurate, it is clear that several existing conditions such as war famine and weather contributed to the severity of the Black Death. European Outbreak there appear to have been several introductions into Europe. The plague reached Sicily in October 1347 carried by 12 Genoese galleys and rapidly spread all over the island. Galleys from Caffa reached Genoa and Venice in January 1348. But it was the outbreak in Pisa a few weeks later that was the entry point to northern Italy. Towards the end of January one of the galleys expelled from Italy arrived in Marseille, 
from Italy the disease spread northwest across Europe striking France, Spain, Portugal and England. By June 13, 48 then turned and spread east, through Germany and Scandinavia from 1348 to 1350. It was introduced in Norway in 1349 when a ship landed at Askoy, then spread to Björgven and Iceland. Finally it spread to northwestern Russia in 1351. The plague was somewhat less common in parts of Europe that had smaller trade relations with their neighbours including the majority of the Basque country isolated parts of Belgium and the Netherlands and isolated Alpine villages throughout the continent. Modern researchers do not think that the plague ever became endemic in Europe or its rat population. The disease repeatedly wiped out the rodent carriers so that the fleas died out until a new outbreak from Central Asia repeated the process. The outbreaks have been shown to occur roughly 15 years after a warmer and wetter period in areas where plague is endemic in other species such as gerbils. Middle Eastern Outbreak The plague struck various regions in the Middle East during the pandemic leading to serious depopulation and permanent change in both economic and social structures. As it spread to Western Europe, the disease entered the region from southern Russia also. By autumn 1347, the plague reached Alexandria in Egypt, probably through the port's trade with Constantinople and ports on the Black Sea. During 1347 the disease traveled eastward to Gaza and north along the eastern coast to cities in Lebanon, Syria and Palestine including Ashkelon Acre. Jerusalem, Sidon, Damascus, Homs and Aleppo. In 1348-1349 the disease reached Antioch. The city's residents fled to the north most of them dying during the journey. But the infection had been spread to the people of Asia Minor. Mecca became infected in 1349. During the same year records show the city of Mosul suffered a massive epidemic and the city of Baghdad experienced a second round of the disease. In 1351, Yemen experienced an outbreak of the plague coinciding with the return of Sultan al-Mujahid Ali of Yemen from imprisonment in Cairo. His party may have brought the disease with them from Egypt. Signs and Symptoms Contemporary accounts of the plague are often varied or imprecise. The most commonly noted symptom was the appearance of buboes in the groin, the neck and armpits, which used pus and bled when opened. Boccaccio's description is graphic. The only medical detail that is questionable in Boccaccio's description is that the gavacholo was an infallible token of approaching death as if the bubo discharges, recovery is possible. This was followed by acute fever and vomiting of blood. Most victims died two to seven days after initial infection. Freckle-like spots and rashes which could have been caused by flea bites were identified as another potential sign of the plague. Some accounts, like that of Lodovic Halogen, whose master the Cardinal Colonna died of the plague in 1348, noted a distinct form of the disease that infected the lungs and led to respiratory problems, and is identified with pneumonic plague. Causes Medical knowledge had stagnated during the Middle Ages. The most authoritative account, at the time, came from the medical faculty in Paris in a report to the King of France that blamed the heavens in the form of a conjunction of three planets in 1345 that caused a great pestilence in the air. This report became the first and most widely circulated of a series of plague tracts that sought to give advice to sufferers that the plague was caused by bad air became the most widely accepted theory. Today this is known as the miasma theory. The word plague had no special significance at this time and only the recurrence of outbreaks during the Middle Ages gave it the name that has become the medical term. 
The importance of hygiene was recognized only in the 19th century. Until then it was common that the streets were filthy with live animals of all sorts around, and human parasites abounding. A transmissible disease will spread easily in such conditions. One development as a result of the Black Death was the establishment of the idea of quarantine in Dubrovnik in 1377 after continuing outbreaks. The dominant explanation for the Black Death is the plague theory which attributes the outbreak to Yersinia pestis, also responsible for an epidemic that began in southern China in 1865 eventually spreading to India. The investigation of the pathogen that caused the 19th century plague was begun by teams of scientists who visited Hong Kong in 1894 among whom was the French-Swiss bacteriologist Alexandre Yassin, after whom the pathogen was named Yersinia pestis. The mechanism by which Y. pestis was usually transmitted was established in 1898 by Paul Louis Simon and was found to involve the bites of fleas whose midguts had become obstructed by replicating Y. pestis several days after feeding on an infected host. This blockage results in starvation, and aggressive feeding behavior by the fleas which repeatedly attempt to clear their blockage, by regurgitation resulting in thousands of plague bacteria being flushed into the feeding site, infecting the host. The bubonic plague mechanism was also dependent on two populations of rodents, one resistant to the disease which act as hosts keeping the disease endemic in a second that lack resistance. When the second population dies the fleas move on to other hosts including people, thus creating a human epidemic. The historian Francis Aidan Gasquet wrote about the Great Pestilence in 1893 and suggested that it would appear to be some form of the ordinary yeast in a bubonic plague. He was able to adopt the epidemiology of the bubonic plague for the Black Death for the second edition in 1908, implicating rats and fleas in the process and his interpretation was widely accepted for other ancient and medieval epidemics, such as the Justinian plague that was prevalent in the Eastern Roman Empire from 541 to 700 CE. An estimate of the mortality rate for the modern bubonic plague, following the introduction of antibiotics is 11% although it may be much higher in economically or medically underdeveloped regions. Symptoms of the disease include fever of 38 headaches, painful aching joints, nausea and vomiting and a general feeling of malaise. Left untreated, of those that contract the bubonic plague 80% die within 8 days. Pneumonic plague has a mortality rate of 90-95%. Symptoms include fever cough, and blood-tinged sputum. As the disease progresses sputum becomes free-flowing and bright red. Septicemic plague is the least common of the three forms with a mortality rate near 100%. Symptoms are high fevers and purple skin patches. In cases of pneumonic, and particularly septicemic plague, the progress of the disease is so rapid that there would often be no time for the development of the enlarged lymph nodes that were noted as buboes. A number of alternative theories implicating other diseases in the Black Death pandemic have also been proposed by some modern scientists. DNA evidence. In October 2010 the open access scientific journal PLOS Pathogens published a paper by a multinational team who undertook a new investigation into the role of Yersinia pestis in the Black Death following the disputed identification by Drancourt and Raoult in 1998. They assessed the presence of DNA, RNA with polymerase chain reaction techniques for Y. pestis from the tooth sockets in human skeletons from mass graves in northern central and southern Europe that were associated archaeologically with the Black Death and subsequent resurgences. The authors concluded that this new research together
with prior analyses from the south of France and Germany, ends the debate about the cause of the Black Death and unambiguously demonstrates that why Pestis was the causative agent of the epidemic plague that devastated Europe. During the Middle Ages, the study also found that there were two previously unknown, but related plagues of the Y. Pestis genome associated with medieval mass graves. These plagues were found to be ancestral to modern isolates of the modern Y. Pestis strains Y. Page Orientalis and Y. Page Medievalis suggesting the plague may have entered Europe in two waves. Surveys of plague pit remains in France and England indicate the first variant entered Europe through the port of Marseille around November 1347 and spread through France over the next two years, eventually reaching England in the spring of 1349, where it spread through the country in three epidemics. Surveys of plague pit remains from the Dutch town of Bergen op Zoom showed the Y. pestis genotype responsible for the pandemic that spread through the Low Countries from 1350 differed from that found in Britain and France implying Bergen op Zoom was not directly infected from England to France in 1349 and suggesting a second wave of plague different from those in Britain and France may have been carried to the Low Countries from Norway the Hanseatic cities or another site. The results of the Hench study have since been confirmed and amended, based on genetic evidence derived from Black Death victims in the East Smithfield burial site in England Schwenem and Al. Concluded in 2011 that the Black Death in medieval Europe was caused by a variant of Y. Pestis that may no longer exist. A study published in Nature in October 2011 sequenced the genome of Y. pestis from plague victims and indicated that the strain that caused the Black Death is ancestral to most modern strains of the disease. DNA taken from 25 skeletons from the 14th century found in London have shown the plague is a strain of Y. Pestis that is almost identical to that which hit Madagascar in 2013. Alternative explanations The plague theory was first significantly challenged by the work of British bacteriologist J. F. D. Shrewsbury in 1970 who noted that the reported rates of mortality in rural areas during the 14th century pandemic were inconsistent with a modern bubonic plague leading him to conclude that contemporary accounts were exaggerations. In 1984 zoologist Graham Twigg produced the first major work to challenge the bubonic plague theory directly, and his doubts about the identity of the Black Death have been taken up by a number of authors including Samuel K. Cohn Jr., David Herlihy and Susan Scott and Christopher Duncan. It is recognized that an epidemiological account of the plague is as important as an identification of symptoms but researchers are hampered by the lack of reliable statistics. From this period, most work has been done on the spread of the plague in England, and even estimates of overall population at the start vary by over 100% as no census was undertaken between the time of publication of the Doomsday Book and the year 1377. Estimates of plague victims are usually extrapolated from figures from the clergy, in addition to arguing that the rat population was insufficient to account for a bubonic plague pandemic. Skeptics of the bubonic plague theory point out that the symptoms of the Black Death are not unique. That transference via fleas in goods was likely to be of marginal significance, and that the DNA results may be flawed and might not have been repeated elsewhere, despite extensive samples from other mass graves. Other arguments include the lack of accounts of the death of rats before outbreaks of plague, between the 14th and 17th centuries, temperatures that are too cold in northern Europe for the survival of fleas, that despite primitive transport systems, 
The spread of the Black Death was much faster than that of modern bubonic plague. That mortality rates of the Black Death appear to be very high, that, while modern bubonic plague is largely endemic as a rural disease, the Black Death indiscriminately struck urban and rural areas, and that the pattern of the Black Death with major outbreaks in the same areas separated by five to 15 years differs from modern bubonic plague, which often becomes endemic for decades. With annual flare-ups, McCormick has suggested that earlier archaeologists were simply not interested in the laborious processes needed to discover rat remains. Wallow complains that all of these authors take it for granted that Simmons' infection model Black Rat Rat Flea Human which was developed to explain the spread of plague in India is the only way an epidemic of Yersinia pestis infection could spread whilst pointing to several other possibilities. Similarly, Green has argued that greater attention is needed to the range of animals that might be involved in the transmission of plague. A variety of alternatives to the Y pestis have been put forward. Twig suggested that the cause was a form of anthrax, and Norman Cantor thought it may have been a combination of anthrax and other pandemics. Scott and Duncan have argued that the pandemic was a form of infectious disease that they characterize as hemorrhagic plague similar to Ebola. Archaeologist Barney Sloan has argued that there is insufficient evidence of the extinction of a large number of rats in the archaeological record of the medieval waterfront in London, and that the plague spread too quickly to support the thesis that the Y. pestis was spread from fleas on rats. He argues that transmission must have been person to person. However, no single alternative solution has achieved widespread acceptance. Many scholars arguing for the Y. pestis as the major agent of the pandemic suggest that its extent and symptoms can be explained by a combination of bubonic plague with other diseases, including typhus, smallpox and respiratory infections. In addition to the bubonic infection, others point to additional septicemic and pneumonic forms of the plague which lengthen the duration of outbreaks throughout the seasons and help account for its high mortality rate and additional recorded symptoms. In 2014 scientists with Public Health England announced the results of an examination of 25 bodies exhumed from the Clerkenwell area of London as well as of wills registered in London during the period which supported the pneumonic hypothesis death toll. There are no exact figures for the death toll, the rate varied widely by locality. In urban centers the greater the population before the outbreak, the longer the duration of the period of abnormal mortality. It killed some people in Eurasia, according to medieval historian Philip De Leder in 2007, the trend of recent research is pointing to a figure more like 45-50% of the European population dying during a four-year period. There is a fair amount of geographic variation. In Mediterranean Europe areas such as Italy, the south of France and Spain where plague ran for about four years consecutively, it was probably closer to 75-80% of the population. In Germany and England, it was probably closer to 20%. A death rate as high as 60% in Europe has been suggested by Norwegian historian Ole Benedict Au. Detailed study of the mortality data available points to two conspicuous features in relation to the mortality caused by the Black Death, namely the extreme level of mortality caused by the Black Death and the remarkable similarity or consistency of the level of mortality from Spain in southern Europe to England in northwestern Europe. The data is sufficiently widespread and numerous to make it likely that the Black Death swept away around 60% of Europe's population. It is generally assumed that the size of Europe's population at the time was around 80 million.
This implies that around 50 million people died in the Black Death. The most widely accepted estimate for the Middle East including Iraq, Iran and Syria during this time is for a death rate of about a third. The Black Death killed about 40% of Egypt's population. Half of Paris' population of 100,000 people died. In Italy the population of Florence was reduced from 110,120,000 inhabitants in 1338 down to 50,000 in 1351. At least 60% of the population of Hamburg and Bremen perished, and a similar percentage of Londoners may have died from the disease as well. While contemporary reports account of mass burial pits being created in response to the large numbers of dead, recent scientific investigations of a burial pit in central London found well-preserved individuals to be buried in isolated evenly spaced graves suggesting at least some pre-planning and Christian burials at this time. Before 1350 there were about 170,000 settlements in Germany, and this was reduced by nearly 40,000 by 1450. In 1348, the plague spread so rapidly that before any physicians or government authorities had time to reflect upon its origins about a third of the European population had already perished. In crowded cities it was not uncommon for as much as 50% of the population to die. The disease bypassed some areas and the most isolated areas were less vulnerable to contagion. Monks and priests were especially hard hit since they cared for victims of the Black Death. Persecutions Renewed religious fervor and fanaticism bloomed in the wake of the Black Death. Some Europeans targeted various groups such as Jews, friars, foreigners, beggars, pilgrims, lepers, and Romani thinking that they were to blame for the crisis. Lepiers and other individuals with skin diseases such as acne or psoriasis were singled out and exterminated throughout Europe because 14th-century healers were at a loss to explain the cause Europeans turned to astrological forces earthquakes and the poisoning of wells by Jews as possible reasons for the plague's emergence. The governments of Europe had no apparent response to the crisis, because no one knew its cause or how it spread. The mechanism of infection and transmission of diseases was little understood in the 14th century. Many people believed only God's anger could produce such horrific displays. There were many attacks against Jewish communities. In February 1349, the citizens of Strasbourg murdered 2,000 Jews. In August 1349 the Jewish communities in Mainz and Cologne were exterminated. By 1351 60 major and 150 smaller Jewish communities had been destroyed. Third Plague Pandemic The Third Plague Pandemic started in China in the mid-19th century spreading to all inhabited continents and killing 10 million people in India alone. Twelve plague outbreaks in Australia between 1900 and 1925 resulted in well over 1,000 deaths, chiefly in Sydney. This led to the establishment of a public health department there which undertook some leading-edge research on plague transmission from rat fleas to humans via the Bacillus Yersinia pestis. The first North American plague epidemic was the San Francisco Plague of 1900-1904 followed by another outbreak in 1907-1908. From 1944 through 1993, 362 cases of human plague were reported in the United States. Approximately 90% occurred in four western states, Arizona, California, Colorado and New Mexico. Modern treatment methods include insecticides, the use of antibiotics and a plague vaccine. The plague bacterium could develop drug resistance and again become a major health threat. One case of a drug-resistant form of the bacterium was found in Madagascar in 1995. 
A further outbreak in Madagascar was reported in November 2014. Names The 12th century French physician Gilles de Corbeil's On the Signs and Symptoms of Diseases uses the phrase Black Death to refer to a pestilential fever. Writers contemporary with the plague referred to the event as the Orba the phrase was used in 1350 by Simon de Cavino a Cuvan, a Belgian astronomer, who wrote the poem On the Judgment of the Sun at a Feast of Saturn which attributes the plague to a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. In 1908 Gasquet claimed that use of the name for the 14th century epidemic first appeared in a 1631 book on Danish history by J. I. Pontanus. Commonly and from its effects they called it the Black Death. The name spread through Scandinavia and then Germany gradually becoming attached to the mid-14th century epidemic as a proper name. In England it was not until 1823 that the medieval epidemic was first called the Black Death. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?